since talking about the new desktop mode that Google is slowly beginning to roll out, some Pixel devices have access to this inside the latest Android beta, Android 16, QPR1 beta number two. I've gotten a ton of comments talking about how a desktop mode is great, but what we need is a full desktop version of Chrome that can install extensions and just be more close to feature parity or have close to feature parity with the desktop version of Chrome. Today we're gonna to talk about exactly that because a lot of people might not realize Google is working on doing precisely that. So we are currently looking at this new desktop mode and I'm gonna put a link in the description down below to this web page. but this is where Google is uploading their Chromium browser Android desktop versions. What you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll all the way down to the very bottom of this page because you wanna get the most recent version of this and there are quite a few. It's gonna take a second. And you're gonna click on it. For me, it's 147-7254 and you're going to get this little zip file. Go ahead and click on that and it should download. From there, you should be able to jump into your files application and go ahead and click on that and extract it. Now, for me, it made this new section that says APKs. We are looking for Chrome public APK. We're gonna click on that and it's going to ask you to install it. So in this instance, I need to give permission to do the installation to files. So we're just gonna click on that settings button and then toggle this and it should go ahead and now install. Once that's done, you'll see Chrome, but then also Chromium. This is the new desktop version. Now, what can you do with this? Well, the biggest thing is, you see the little extensions button up here in the corner? That's right, you can install extensions. So absolutely, my favorite extension is Dark Reader for Chrome. So we're gonna search that, go to the Chromium web store or the Chrome web store, and we're gonna go ahead and add that to Chrome. And now when I go to a web page, you'll see that it is darkening different things on the page. I'll toggle this really quickly just so that you can see the difference because it's fairly subtle on my website. But there you go, now you can see what is happening dark reader the extension working correctly now one cool thing is with older builds if you closed out of your browser and then you loaded back into it the extensions might not even be there anymore that is no longer the case they are continuing to function overall it does seem to be running pretty darn well like i would obviously need to do quite a bit more testing to really say if this is something that you're going to want to truly daily drive but I'll say that the bigger point of this is we have the desktop mode coming. And for those of you that wanted the full desktop version of Chrome with extensions, they are working on it. And you can go as far as installing it, side loading it right now. Now, keep in mind, this is not a public thing yet. It's not in the Play Store yet, because just like the desktop mode itself, it's not finished. So you are going to have bugs. You are going to have crashes. It's not going to update itself in the Google Play Store. So more than anything, I just want to communicate that it is coming. Extensions are coming. And this, I think, all points in the same direction of this new desktop mode for Android truly being something that is important to Google. We may very well, in the not-so-distant future, have laptops that run Android, and I think that that is really, really cool. I do want to give a quick shout out to guess who, who else would it be, Michelle, over on AndroidAuthority.com because they did write an article about this a few days ago, and that's where I actually got the link to install all of this stuff right down here. But I'll put the direct link in the description, and I will put a link to their article in the description down below as well. Guys, thanks for watching. Drop a comment down below to let me know exactly how cool you think this actually is. I think that it's pretty darn cool and it's indicative of even cooler things that are yet to come. Subscribe for more content like this and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.